Michael, what news there in Mexico have you heard, maybe from the government or any sort of reaction to President Trump's comments about deportation? Uh, Christina, we're outside a uh, migrant processing centre here in Tapachula all day, hundreds of people going in to try to get uh, some, some sort of legal status here in Mexico so they can stay here. We have been asking people about what Donald Trump uh, said. And, and it's interesting, uh, there, there are people who were planning to go on to the US who are now saying, no, we're going to stay here. I spoke to one man from Honduras who actually was in the US, got deported back to Honduras, fled the violence there. He was on his way back too and he said, I'm not going to do it anymore. He said, we're just not welcome there. Uh, I'm going to stay here and work here. Uh, I'm safe here in Mexico. And uh, so that seems to be the reaction uh, initially anyway from some of the people here, the migrants from those Northern Triangle countries. Uh, they're saying they're disappointed. One man said, hey, the US economy runs on people like us. We're the ones who do construction. We pick the vegetables. Uh, we do the sort of jobs that Americans won't do. So you kick everyone out, you're going to get hurt. We paid taxes when we were there. Saying those sorts of things, but it's interesting that uh, some people do feel disheartened about their prospects of moving uh, north onto the US and they're happy to try to get residency here in Mexico, at least for the time being, Christina. Yeah, and, and Michael, elsewhere, today is meant to be the deadline day, of course, for 6,000 troops uh, to be expected at the Mexico border. But I hear that the reality is actually a lot less than that. What are you seeing? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the Mexican government said uh, very, very clearly, actually, that they would have 6,000 National Guard police, Marines, soldiers, security forces, basically, on the border and in place uh, by end of day Tuesday. Well, it is Tuesday. Yesterday, we were at a news conference uh, with a government official who said now that they're hoping to have 50% of that number uh, given assignments, he said, uh, by the end of the week. So uh, 6,000 in place uh, today ain't going to happen. Uh, they're hoping to get half that number in place by the end of the week. But we are seeing an uptick of activity, uh, roadblocks and that sort of thing. Uh, more, more sort of uh, security forces around the town here and down on the border. We, we spoke to a human rights group yesterday, though. They make the point that it's not going to stop people who are fleeing for their lives. Here's our report. The Mexican government initially said 6,000 troops and police would be in place along the southern border with Guatemala by Tuesday to deal with the migrant crisis. But at a news conference Monday, a government spokesman said that won't happen. I think that finishing this week, there should be approximately 50% of those 6,000 assigned. Still, activity has increased in the last 24 to 48 hours. Here, entire truckloads of migrants found in the state of Veracruz. Also, more checkpoints, roadblocks and a growing number of detentions. But here at a packed human rights centre in Tapachula, those in charge say this isn't a job for soldiers not trained to deal with women and children who are fleeing for their lives. Are troops the answer? Is the military the answer? No, because... Uh... They need protection. They don't need more violence, more detention, and being deported, sent back again to the violence in their countries. So you think it'll make it worse? Yes, I'm sure about that. Salva La Cruz says the centre he runs has seen more migrants in the past five months than the previous three years combined. And what people are fleeing in their home countries is worse than dodging troops to get here. The situation we have here is people hiding away from violence and trying to save their lives because if they don't leave their countries, they, they will die, they will be killed. Mexico's government says it is unable to cope alone, needing international help, including from the US. Without a doubt, the US will have to invest because the Latin American migration phenomenon is not exclusive to one country and all those involved should be doing this. The migrants come from many countries, but the vast majority come from right there. Guatemala. More than 210,000 apprehended at the US border in the eight months to May. And this is one of the ways they get there. Jump on a pontoon, go from there to Mexico, a dollar ahead, and you're there. There are dozens more crossing points, a porous nearly thousand kilometer border, and human rights groups say migrants will take more remote and potentially more dangerous routes to avoid security forces. But while the reasons they left in the first place remain, they will still come. 
And Christina, the Mexican government says uh, anyone who does cross the border and encounters those uh, security forces and immigration officers will be treated with dignity and respect and their human rights will be respected. Anyone with a valid claim to stay here will have that claim uh, looked at and approved. But they also say anyone who comes in without a good reason to be here will be detained and deported. Worth pointing out, Christina, that in recent years, Mexico has deported far more people from those northern triangle countries of Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador than the US has. Uh, so uh, people are being sent back here in great numbers. The Mexican government, though, says they will treat people with respect and dignity when they cross over because many of them are fleeing for their lives. Christina?